I'm uh, Dr. Mukherjee. I'm the chair of cardiovascular medicine at Texas Tech University and chief of cardiovascular services at the University Medical Center. Just a little stick, okay? So, so gentleman, Mr. A B, his initials, who presented with severely elevated high blood pressure and a heart attack. He continued to have chest pain despite medications and we brought him to the cardiac catheterization laboratory because of concern of the heart attack. When we performed the heart catheterization, which is essentially looking at the heart blood vessels directly with catheters, we found that his, one of his large blood vessels, the left anterior descending artery, was completely blocked. We were able to open it in a timely manner and minimize the damage to his heart muscle. And he actually went home today, which is two days after the procedure, completely healthy. Let me use the wire to make sure. I've been doing this for over 10 years now. This is not a new procedure. Some of the nuances of what we do, including removing the clot with catheters, the type of stents we use nowadays have changed. The procedure has been around for over two decades now. We started with pure balloons and we moved to stainless steel stents. Now we use modified stents with coatings to prevent re-blockage. So typically it's a permanent cure and comparable to something like a surgical bypass of these uh, blood vessels. At the same time, we make sure we put patients on medications to lower their cholesterol to control their blood pressure to control their diabetes so that they do not develop new blockages at different areas of the heart. When should people think about lifestyle and other things to prevent it? It should start very early in life, even teenage years, eating right, exercising, making sure you know what your cholesterol is, making sure you visit the physician on a regular basis, maybe once a year at least, to make sure someone does not have high blood pressure. And treating these risk factors, not smoking, exercising, eating right, may delay or prevent this for many decades and should start very early in life. And no more damage, no more chest pain. We're excited that you know, this is a relatively new procedure at University Medical Center. We did not have this capability a few years, three, four years ago, and we used to do just diagnostic procedures. We're also beginning to perform many new procedures, including treating aneurysms endovascularly or percutaneously, which is not performed at many centers, so we'll be one of the few centers to afford it or afford the patients the capability of doing these procedures. We're looking at other new procedures like atherectomy or removing thrombus and cholesterol deposits in blood vessels of the legs using specialized catheters. So this is an exciting time for the city of El Paso, for Texas Tech, for University Medical Center, where the patients or uh, the community will be able to have access to many new sophisticated procedures right here in El Paso.